Hi, welcome to Innovation and Design Thinking, MCQ, with explanations for Module 2 Tools for Design Thinking, Topic Empathy for Design. What is empathy? To understand a person's situation and to pity them. To experience a person's situation so you can tell others what it was like. To have a deeper appreciation and understanding of people's needs. To listen to their to their problems and then give them advice. Answer. C. Explanation. Empathy is the first phase of the design thinking process. It is the ability to understand people and see the world through people's eyes, and it is to step in people's shoes to feel what they feel. It is an intentional attempt to keep aside preconceived notions, understand and uncover the real unspoken needs to truly resonate with the users. 2. Empathy allows designers to do all of the following except a. Focus on the practicalities of designing. b. Understand the way users do things. c. Figure out how users do things. d. Investigate users' emotional needs. Answer. A. Explanation. Empathy is an intentional attempt to keep aside preconceived notions, understand and uncover the real unspoken needs to truly resonate with the users. E. Accept the option A. All the other options are focusing on users' behavior and needs. 3. Which of the following is, a characteristics of empathy? A. People often tell you about their problems. B. Other people come to you for advice. C. You often think about how other people feel. D. All of the above. Answer. D. Explanation. Empathy is the ability to understand people and see the world through people's eyes, and it is to step in people's shoes to feel what they feel. All the options A, B, C are focusing on people, users' problems and seeking for solutions. 4. A good approach to empathy should not have the following. A. Judgment of others' opinion. B. Curiosity. C. Optimism. D. Respect for others' opinion. Answer. A. Explanation. Curiosity, optimism, and respect for others' opinion are the positive approaches to empathize users' true needs. One can give the judgment of others' opinion. 5. What should we do during empathy? Engage. A. Introduce yourself and make the user feel comfortable. B. Talk to the users at the same time to maximize our time. C. Simplify the interview questions to yes and no types to ease the user's understanding. D. None of the above. Answer. A. Explanation. Introducing yourself and making the user feel comfortable leads the user to open up and explain about his, her problems and needs. This way we can understand and uncover the user's true problems and needs. 6. Which of the following are the ways to build empathy? A. Surveys. B. Observation. C. In-depth interviews. D. All the above. Answer. D. Explanation. Surveys, observation, and in-depth interviews all these approaches can be used to understand the user true needs. 7. The term empathy was first introduced by A. David Kelly B. Larry Leifer C. Edward B. Titchener D. Tim Brown Answer. C. Explanation. Psychologist Edward Titchener introduced the term empathy in 1909 into the English language as the translation of the German term Einfühlung, or feeling into. 8. Which are the components of empathy? A. Cognitive. B. Emotional. C. Compassionate. D. All of the above. Answer. D. Explanation. Compassionate, cognitive, and emotional are the components of empathy. 9. Empathy is crucial because it allows design thinkers to set aside their assumptions about the world to gain insight into users and their needs. True. False. Answer. A. Explanation. Empathy is an intentional attempt to keep aside preconceived notions and assumptions, understand and uncover the real unspoken needs to truly resonate with the users. 10. Suya is creating a new product for architectural college students. He takes a design thinking approach. His first step is, addressing who he is creating the product for, and conducts research on understanding the market. What is this step in the design thinking process? A. Define. B. Ideate. C. Empathize. D. Prototype. Answer. C. Explanation. Empathize is the first step in design thinking approach to understand the user's or market true needs. 11. Which is not a good interview strategy for the empathy step? A. Encourage the person to talk about experiences. B. Encourage short answers that get right to the point. C. Ask follow-up questions to get more information. D. 
try to uncover needs people may or may not be aware of. Answer, B. Explanation. Empathy is an intentional attempt to understand and uncover the real unspoken needs of the users. This is possible only when you encourage the person to talk about experiences and ask follow-up questions to get more information. When you encourage short answers that get right to the point that will not give an opportunity to get more information and insights about the true need of users. 12. Which of the following is right? Design sensibilities are a combination of design features, qualities and aesthetics. B. Empathy is to see no evil, hear no evil and speak no evil. C. Design sensibilities are complex feelings such as amenity, pleasantness, comfort, pleasure, etc. D. Empathy is seeing with your own eye, hearing with your own ear and feeling the pain with your own heart. E. A and D. Answer. E. Explanation. Design sensibilities includes design features, qualities and aesthetics. Empathy is an intentional attempt to understand and uncover the real unspoken needs of the users. To uncover the true needs of user designer should see his own eyes, hear with his own ears and feel the pain with his own heart. 13. You would interview people to gain an understanding of how they feel during the stage of design thinking. Test. Define. Ideate. Empathize. Answer. D. Explanation. Empathy is an intentional attempt to understand and uncover the real unspoken feelings and needs of the users. Hence this stage is empathize stage. 14. During which stage would you gather information about people's needs and motivations? Prototype. Define. Ideate. Empathize. Answer. D. Explanation. Empathy is an intentional attempt to understand and uncover the real unspoken feelings and needs of the users. We gather the information about people's needs and motivations. Hence this stage is empathize stage. 15. During which stage would you consult experts to learn more about the areas of concern and to gain an understanding of other people's experiences? Prototype. Define. Ideate. Empathize. Answer. D. Explanation. Empathy is an intentional attempt to understand and uncover the real unspoken feelings and needs of the users. For this we may consult experts to learn more about the areas of concern and to gain an understanding of other people's experiences. Hence this stage is empathize stage. 16. Is used with the objective of identifying needs that customers are often unable to articulate. Mind mapping. Experience mapping. Storytelling. Rapid concept development. Answer. B. Explanation. User experience mapping, also known as customer journey mapping, CJM is a powerful technique for understanding what motivates your customers, what their needs are, their hesitations and concerns. Thanks for watching. Comment for any suggestions. Like, share and subscribe.